Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to the start of a playthrough that I've been excited to do, and I think some other people have been excited about as well, so this shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. As a part of Month or So of Dino, I wanted to tie this in as an LP, so while I can't guarantee that we'll finish this LP before the end of that month and a half period of Dinosaur Madness, I will at least be regularly putting it out and trying to get it done within that time frame. It really just depends on how long the game is and how terrible I do at it. But let's get in here. So like a lot of these blind LPs I do, this isn't actually going to be blind for this first episode because I actually covered this stuff in a first impressions video not particularly long ago. This game does have a Mail. fairly long intro. The second report from Military Experiment Facility. Agent name, Tom. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man? is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved, recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. No actual specification of who we're talking about when we say the country. Operation Instructions. So again, it's quite a bit of backstory and setup for a survival horror game. Compared to like, the start of Resident Evil 3. accurate there that you can't understand a word they're saying because they're in a helicopter. Sorry I'm late. It's time. Let's move out. What about Cooper? Forget him. Time's up. Wait, wait! Aw, oh, jeez, I'm so lost.
I mean, I know I said it last time, too, but it's just really funny that Cooper is apparently completely unarmed. Okay, this is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little dance. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. H hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. As soon as he's cleared the room, not like he's cleared his way to the room or anything. Alright, so here we are. Not too much different from Resident Evil aside from... The fact that you can move and shoot, and also, pretty major, the fact that all of the backgrounds are 3D rendered instead of pre-rendered. So they don't look as good as Resident Evil 3. But there's more dynamic camera angles because guess. of it. This is some of your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Also, I think this Special Forces team is probably even worse and like more disorganized than the stars alpha team there's like no like uniformity to them regina's here is wearing this like bodysuit but everyone else just has regular tactical gear she's got a pistol but rick who is the like you know computer specialist has a rifle nobody seems to like gail who is their commanding officer it just seems like a bit of a mess also, I hope Cooper wasn't actually important, because he got eight, so anything he had on him isn't there anymore. I believe there's something tucked away back here. Yeah. And unlike something like Resident Evil, you can actually kind of tippy-toes yeah. to grab stuff off of shelves like that. Okay, so that's a revive item. Definitely not going to find that in Resident Evil. And a key. So one key thing I'm going to have to get better at compared to the video I did is raptors and dealing with them. Though, I did do a little bit of reading, like walkthrough stuff, just for tips, Rick and... can handle the inside of the facility on his own. It does seem like you're just really not supposed to use the pistol, at least not the default pistol with the default ammo, against raptors. So maybe it'll be better if I just run away from them for now. Right. I forgot already where this key is. But I need to... I think I need to go back the way I came, right? How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. 
long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. What are you doing here? I mean, you're only, like, around the corner. A few feet away, but what are you doing here? So are these emergency lights then? That's disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. I don't think you can use empty barrels as a backup source of power. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. Right, no, I gotta remember that's there now, because we are gonna have to come back. And we got this little puzzle here. Now, there was a note that tells you what you have to do, right? Avoid using the batteries from the other floor and vice versa. Could have sworn there was a thing that told you where to restart this thing. Not that one. Because these have to be in a certain position. I just don't remember where that position is. I guess it's just the order of these switches here. Red, blue, green, white. But I thought I remember there being, like, a piece of paper that told you. And again, the lights were already on. Just fluorescent lights. Alright, so let's follow this blood trail. We've got our first raptor here. I'm just gonna try to get away from him. Because last time I tried to fight him, 
only problem is when you run away from them, they sprint after you and they can pounce you. Alright. That actually did work a lot better than trying to just shoot him with this pistol. Oh no. Is he just gonna keep chasing me until I kill him? You idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. Dinosaurs, Rick. The situation is dinosaurs. This laser grid here. And we can go in there because she's got her, like, grappling hook gun. So this one just drops you behind the laser grid, right? Some ammo. That turns on the grid? Maybe we can't do that right now, but I could have sworn that turns on the grid right here. This is a box. We can't open it yet. This game has a really weird item system from what I remember. What's our status? This this security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's, that's a great idea. But Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. We only have one radio. Hey, what's with this monitor? That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. So he'll open the shutter, the metal one. And this is the elevator.
which I. Now, what I want to know is where those things are coming from. So we're definitely going to have to backtrack here. Oh, he didn't get rid of this shutter, so I guess it was one of the other ones. Yeah, so can't go that way yet. And I don't have a plug, so I can't open the healing box. Can I go through this door? Yeah, this leads to the... I think this is a save room, right? Grab this. So the shotgun seems like what we're going to need for raptors. And I guess, based on what we just did there, we will be finding plugs hidden in just the environment, instead of floating like the other items. Okay. Why does that turn on the computer from across the room? And this just tells us how to use the digital disk key. And the panel key, which we won't need just yet. I don't remember. I think we found the code for this already in my other video, but I don't remember what it was. Did this guy have anything on him? He has been gouged in the torso. Okay, I think that's all we need in here. And yeah, the way the save rooms work is they ask you to save when you leave them. I guess we'll just save over the last save that I made in this room. Regina, I took care of the shutter. You should be able to access the control panel now. All right. Ready? That was quick. Thanks. Hey girl, just get going. But these are not shutters. These are lasers. Those two, and you need two DDKs for every lock. All right, let's see if I can take care of this raptor. Um, so does it have any ammo? I'm gonna say that it, it doesn't have any ammo. And I shouldn't try to use it. There's also a delay after each shot before you can move. Well, that went about as poorly as expected. I thought I had ammo for the shotgun already. And I don't know if leaving the room would have got rid of that raptor. Okay, so there's the dart. Could've used the dart with the shotgun. 
and tranked that guy, but again, I don't know if leaving the room would have made him just reset. Also, all these low-res nudie pics around here. So is there actually anything in here I wanted? Or was it just... Oh, yeah, the disc that I needed. So I need to find me some shotgun shells. Okay, can't go through that shutter. Okay, that's a DD key N, which we don't have right now. And those are just items that will increase other items that I mix them with. So you can make higher quality healing items and anesthetic items by mixing. Can't go with the front door, right? Nope. There's no don't open that door equivalent. This thing movable? I was gonna say, it didn't look attached to the wall. Another an aid. Can I? I think I can combine. Oh no, I have to go to mix. Right? Can I combine two an aids to make a. Yeah, you can make darts with two of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to use these small darts just so I can skip past any raptors I run into. Assuming I hit them, which is, you know. They also, apparently, don't immediately take effect. And there goes my gun. That, uh, Trank, not really doing much. Hit him a second time, and now he is down. Hopefully, the M darts are enough to knock him down right away. So yeah, there's nothing in here yet until I can open that. Oh, there was another thing there. I remember raptors don't, yeah, they don't reset their position when you leave, so he's back where he was a second ago. And I am bleeding, as you can tell from those little droplets coming out, so I gotta use a hemostat. There's a lot of annoying little things in this game, in terms of stuff like that. Like the fact that you have to re-equip your gun after it gets knocked out of your hands and you pick it up again. Okay, so here we do this. So we just remove the letters that are in the key. Okay, 
Is this one... Help? I'm trying to remember what this one was. Head? Yeah, because they're all words. Nope, not him. going to happen here in the chief's room. Survivor. Are you from the rescue team? Uh I yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. Pulled it right out of my chest wound. I, I don't know. You told me extremely vital. And he gives us one of these. We already have the other one. And that's input N. So we need the panels for this thing. Panel key. All right, I have to actually look at the damn things. And they have numbers that are upside down on them. Okay, so that one goes on the... Number two goes on the right, right? O three seven. Ugh, the menus are a little unresponsive or too responsive. I'm not sure. It's hard to select stuff sometimes. 705. I feel like I had this much trouble last time as well trying to look at these. 705037. Okay. Okay, so they are in the same order. I thought they might be reversed because the code is upside down. Nope. O three seven, and that gets us the key card L, which is not the same as the DDK key. Oh God! Are you kidding me? Of course, there's no reason to fight him. Just get out of the room, because he can't chase us through the door, unlike the raptors. And am I bleeding? No. Oh, I'm just going to use a med pack, because I did get nudged there. Shots, four shots. 
He's not dead yet. I mean, I still stand by my assessment that it's almost not worth shooting enemies in this game, especially because they respawn. In some areas, at least. I don't think we can do anything up here yet. And this tells us the code. 8159. As well as some more explanation of the DDK system. I wonder if that's because people played this and it was too complicated. Like, they couldn't figure out in playtesting how the DDK thing worked, so they put multiple notes on how to do it. Okay, so 8159. And this doesn't lead anywhere. I think that we can do anything right now. This is a locked door. But we'll have to come back up here at some point to get the radio working. So we can call for help. Hey look, it's the same raptor, and the same cutscene of that raptor appearing. And I bet it will still break through the store. Okay, there was an item in this corner, but I guess I already picked it up. So is this raptor still here? No. But that one just popped back out again. I think this gives us, yeah, upgrade for our pistol. I have turned my gun into a handgun custom, which can now use 40 Smith & Wesson as well as 9mm. Remember this from the other video, where I fucked up every single time I tried to take something out of my inventory? And let me guess, he's gonna bust out behind me again. There's just no escaping this raptor. So ammo is a pretty dire situation already. But we'll go back to Rick and we'll save, and then that'll be it for the first episode. What does that make? Okay, so with a hemostat, I can turn that into a better one. However, I do actually need that hemostat. And that makes a better hemostat? Wait, does this just make more? Yeah, I think one and a hemostat turns into two, which doesn't seem like a great trade. Also, I don't have... Yeah, okay, I don't have the code disk N, so we can't go through that other door. So the only thing I got there was that keycard L. Still can't turn that off, and that's the locker room.
gonna guess that 8159 is not also the code to this. No, yeah, no, that was a different one. It seems weird that they refer to it as a weapons locker when it's in the lounge. Alright, that's about half an hour there, so I guess I'll end it before I go talk to Rick. I'm not sure if we have to talk to Rick yet, but... If not, then I have to find where the L keycard goes, which might be the elevator. Also, we'll open up this box next time and grab the healing items out of it. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Dino Crisis Part 1, and I hope you'll join me for Regina's future endeavors, or Regina, rather. Till then, take care, folks.